British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has made announcement investments in climate protection dependent on his country's economic growth, as expected. Britain wants to put one billion pounds, that's around 1.18 billion euros, more into financing climate measures by 2025, Johnson announced at the start of the COP26 World Climate Summit in Glasgow in Scotland. However, this only applies in the event that the economy increases as forecast. So far, the UK had planned to make a total of £11.6 billion for poorer countries in the fight against the climate crisis between 2021 and 26. The now announced additional billion should come from the pot for international development aid, for which 0.7% of the gross domestic product is earmarked for the budget um, in the year 2024-2025 in the event of a correspondingly recovering economy. So conditions, conditions and money that's already put in there. The British government had cut this pot to 0.5% of economic output for the next few years due to the economic burdens caused by the corona pandemic and received massive criticism from humanitarian organizations, but also from members of its own ranks. Climate finance is a particularly controversial topic in the negotiations in Glasgow. A few days before the start of COP26, the industrialized countries had already admitted that they would not achieve the goal of 100 billion US dollars per year for less developed countries until 2023, and thus three years later as planned. Johnson called on the heads of state of government uh, at the World Climate Conference COP26 to act in the fight against climate change and to go beyond their financial pledges to the developing world. For mankind, the clock on climate change has long run out. It's a minute to midnight and we have to act now, Johnson said at the opening ceremony. And this emerged from excerpts from a speech which was uh, pre-published on Sunday. And he said, if we don't take serious action against climate change today, it will be too late for our children tomorrow. On Monday, Johnson, along, uh, along with uh, dozens of other heads of state and government, addressed the world community in Glasgow. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson called on the world leaders to act on climate change and on their financial commitments to developing countries at the World Climate Conference COP26. And the fun part is that the one billion pounds that he's committing now is already in the fund for the poorer countries. He will just say, yeah, we still use the same money, but we tell you what to do with it. Use it for climate instead of development. And so it's not additional money. It's just another Boris Johnson smokescreen. And in the end, of course, on the paper, there will be a 12.6 12 billion commitment um, for climate. But in the end, it's still the old 11.6 million because he's taken the money away from the developed countries somewhere else where he would have given it to. Representatives from 197 countries were fighting for a way to drastically reduce greenhouse gas emissions in Scotland. The UK was hosting the COP26 conference. On Monday and today, the heads of state and government, including US President Joe Biden and Chancellor Angela Merkel, wanted to emphasize the urgency of success in the fight against climate change in Glasgow. Because the commitments made so far by the international community are not sufficient to limit the warming of the atmosphere to 1.5 degrees compared to the pre-industrial era, as agreed in the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement. Despite increased droughts, floods and storms, the consequences of this rise in temperature are still just about manageable. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.